Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds and Murder on Eridanos. Eridon Eridanos? Eridanos, blah, blah. Oh, right, I should have, uh... Actually, I should have looked. Huh. No footprints going into the nursery, or the hive place, whatever it's called. Right, so let me not go too far off the beaten path. Let me go talk before I go back to the DeWitt or Hathaway, whatever his name was. Is it DeWitt Hathaway? It is. Let me talk to her one more time because I feel like I've missed some dialogue because her marker is still there. Back. Let me know. Oh, I found a strange substance on the processing console. That has something to do with you? Well, maybe. I might have had a supersized cup of mixed purpleberry punch and lemon slap that I might have knocked over when I was running routine. Oh my god, Anna, you did all of these things. Look, I know what you're thinking, but I have the proper permit to mix those drinks. I just left it in my other work uniform. I doubt it. I've used that exact same line. Hey, we have a lot of uniforms. It's hard keeping track of all your belongings. Did you dump the drink before or after you removed the con console's control panel cover? How did you notice? I... The diagnostic normally takes hours, and that's only if humidity's low. I wanted to take the initiative to try and make it faster. I found a toxic mix of fertilizer and weed killer on some purpleberry saplings. Thoughts? Why should weed killer affect saplings? Weed killer. It's in the name. Oh my god, she's it dumb. It kill only weeds. That really seems like it's more on product design than on meat. Laws alive. I really did think I was doing good by the orchards, but with all that you've told me, it sounds like I've done much more harm. I know it's a lot to ask, but is there a chance you could vouch for me to my boss? It might not seem like it, but I've been trying to take the initiative. I really do want to help. Uh, there's no harm in trying to make things better. I'll talk to your boss. Wow, thank you so, so much. You do this for me, and I'll make sure to do whatever I can to make things better. There's no way that backfires. <laughs> uh, oh, she's right. Hmm. Okay. Well, that explains why I could still talk to her, because we have talked about her, about her many other failures. So I guess the point for Helen here was to find the picnic? I thought we were also looking for the... You're back, I see. Glad Slug hasn't managed to scare you off. Oh my god. I think it's more of a wonder that nothing in these law-forsaken orchards has managed to kill them. How's the investigation going? You got a complete report for me yet? I've completed my investigation. All right. Let's hear the details. A drink was spilled over the processing console, shorting it out. A drink? I ain't never heard of no saboteur dumping drinks all over equipment to destroy it. I hate to say it, but that sounds more like worker carelessness. How many times do I have to tell you this, old man? Slug isn't behind your problems. Slug wouldn't even need to cause you problems. Your own workers do enough. And herbicide was mixed in with the fertilizer, which ended up killing the saplings. Ha! New Slug was behind the damn sabotage. I didn't say that. Please. We're subtle, but that's too subtle. If we wanted to destroy your saplings, you'd have known them by the blackened remnants of their stems, not some half-assed poisoning. I took care of roaming exterminator of the roaming exterminator Automax. Huh? You didn't destroy any of them? I reckon I would have lost that bet. Thanks. One less expense for you to explain to your bosses, Hathaway. Lucky you. So, what were the fine details of the sabotage, anyhow? We're slugs lackeys trying to get the mechanicals to kill all our waspitos. Uh, you're where the slug is trying to mess with your livelihood. Of course. And what better way to do that than by targeting our pollenizers? They'd be a hell of a pain to kill manually. But if you set the mechanicals to do it... In your delusional fantasy, the waspitos wouldn't be out until next pollinization cycle. Wouldn't someone notice the rampant mechanicals beforehand? That seems like a question you should be asking yourself. Is there a way to manually initiate a pollinization cycle? Well, yes. It's possible to manually start and end cycles in hive control, but we keep a careful watch on it. And there have been no non-Rizzo's personnel in or out. Stop wasting everyone's time, Hathaway. 
What you're proposing is infinitely less likely than an idiot maneuver by one of your incompetent workers. I won't hear any further slander. Let's go through this one final time so even you can't confuse it, Hathaway. Slugged into a damn thing to your orchards. You're chasing ghosts. Talk about ghosts all you like, but someone was screwing with my orchards. If it wasn't Slug, then who the hell was it? Uh... Anna Summers caused your problems, but she didn't do it on purpose. Summers? The intern? I didn't really take her for a meddlesome type. But now that I think about it, that's why she'd be a perfect saboteur. I'll deal with her later. Right now, we of the Orchards have to settle things with Slug. I reckon that you're about as impartial a third party as we're gonna get. Can you mediate? Ah, what the hell. The Orchardist seems to get off on complicating what should be a simple deal, but at this point, I just want to be paid and go. The pollen in the air is... agitating. That's a word for it. You wasted Slug's time and tried to blame your screw-ups on them. Pay up. Slug's presence and make productivity in the Orchards worse. Don't give them another bit. Rizzles will have bits to spare after the brown unveiling. Could pay then with interest. If either of you spread fucks bicker for a second longer, I'll rip... Let's do the Persuade. Hmm. Never like paying bits if I ain't gotta, but you're right. If we get production finished now, we'll be able to pay later. Thoughts, Slug Boy? I think that's the first interesting suggestion I've heard since our back and forth began. Slug can wait for an increase in costs. I hope we won't have this conversation again. Now that that's out of the way, we can discuss the intern. If she was really causing all that trouble, I will delight in severing her from her job. Your intern confessed to being inept. She honestly seemed like she wanted to help. Oh my god. Even if I were inclined to believe you, that's some damn severe incompetence you're talking about. I still wouldn't want someone like that working the orchards. Perhaps you could be of use to each other? What the hell are you proposing? Let her burn the orchards down while I stand behind her and applaud? We ain't got nothing to exchange. There's The intern's an earnest, earnest worker. I bet she'd do an excellent job with your guidance. She wants to help, does she? You know what? I'll call your bluff. She can keep at it with close supervision. But if she screws up even once, she's out. Oh, nice. Use your pay, with a little extra for getting to the bottom of things. It's gonna be real interesting in the orchards for the foreseeable future. Thanks, I guess. All right, I got some bits. Oh, how much did that increase my reputation? Uh, bu 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 bu. One percent? What? Wow, they like me 2% and 1%. Great. Good stuff. Hey! Oh, he's here. I was like, what happened to him? Oh, game. Where was Anna? She wasn't in this building, was she? Yeah, she was. Oops. I got a message from my boss, and it wasn't pack your bags and get the hell off the planetoid. I get the funny feeling I've got you to thank for that. Mr. Hathaway said he knew about all my screw-ups across the orchards. I was afeard he was ready in the axe, but instead he said I could still work here with his supervision. He sounded ready to blow a blood vessel or two, so I guess I'll have to really earn my keep now. Thanks for sticking your neck out for me. You and Aridonos won't regret it. Yeah, uh, hopefully. Hopefully you're right. Alright, let's get back to exploring the rest of this little area. Ooh, is that the maze? Hold on, I'm, I want to just see everything. Actually, oh, wait, what is... Let me just make sure I didn't miss any... Oh, you know what? There's also the R&R, &R, the RR and DD. Let's stop by there since I got the key for that. Hmm. But the thing is, Helen didn't go to the RR and DD, did she? Oh, but the key card was... Wait, the key card was at the picnic. Never mind. Just where there was no footstep. Footprints. Is this a different area? Oh, it's a totally different area. 
All right. Ugh. So where do the parasites come from? Well, maybe we'll find out in this building. I was going to say, where do the parasites come from? But if any, if they were created anywhere, it would be the RR&DD department, or whatever the full name is. I guess department is redundant. It's department district, is what they said. Is this going to be one of those, like, it's much bigger on the inside than the outside type deals? Ugh, oh, it's the... It's, it's the eyes, you know what? It's more the eyes than the... the teeth that horrify me. Hello? I can hear you out there. If you still possess the majority of your mental capacities, please locate the test room through the lobby and to the left. You'll see me through the glass. Okay. Oh, so I will. Hello. How in the aether did you get in here? Dr. Bosom. Rizzo's authorized. Oh, void it all. What does it even matter now? What do you want? Speak up and quickly if you will. Uh, investigating? <laughs> Lie 105. That's a high one. I'm investigating the murder. You do know that Halcyon Helen is a fictional character portrayed by the late actress, Ruth Bellamy, yes? One can't be too sure with so many simpletons around in the day-to-day. Regardless, I am not at liberty to divulge such information with non-employees or personnel lacking security clearance level Spectrum Orange. Of course, if you were to say, contract your services to me, I suppose I could grant you clearance enough to answer your murder-related questions, Mr. Inspector. You see, I've found myself in a bit of a pickle. Some of my lab techs have turned rather aggressive following a recent experiment gone awry. Hence why I've barricaded myself in the lab. There isn't anything you can do to help? Hmm. Yes. I suppose I should make myself useful. Let me think. Huh. I know. I can remotely unlock the supply closets in the lower levels of the lab. Perhaps you'll find some useful apparatus or two in them. Didn't see any hostiles in the wave here from the entry door. You could make a run for it. And lose my life's work? You want me to just burn my lab and my entire future to the ground over one experiment that's gotten rather out of hand? No, I think not. We merely need to clean up the mess, so to speak. Reset the lab back to functional parameters. Need a cleaner? Call Sam! Our units are the best in the biz. Staff can be replaced, you know. Research data? Now that's invaluable what goes on in these labs that would turn your researchers, researchers against you oh no they're quite unaware of their actions I'm afraid we're a research and development branch of Rizzo's focused primarily on the spectrum vodka line but the specific research that goes on in this facility is utterly confidential you understand Wow 105 persuasions? Oh, oh, come on, you secret save me. Call me a skeptic, but no, I don't believe it would be. Loose lips sink new product ships, you know? Okay. Happily, of course. I can take care of your problems, but I need you to answer some questions afterward. Excellent. You have my gratitude, and soon you'll have my knowledge of Miss Bellamy's recent visit as well. Now, if you'd rather not kill my lab techs during this cleanup, I believe you can dispense a sedative gas from a terminal in the utility room. Your call, Captain. I don't know if the lab techs can even be helped at this point. The door to the lower labs is sealed for our safety, so you'll need to take the elevator down. I'll unseal the access hallway for you now. Do take care. Uh huh. Maybe I should have used that 105 lie right off the bat. Rizzo's first product. Chemical Waste Management Corporation. Uh oh. That's not great. That's not what you want to hear. It's not worth it, buddy. What was that? Uh 
Uh, mine the gas canisters. Okay, increase protect protective measure. Okay, all right. All right, so she wanted me to be stealthy, huh? Oops, I think they fell through the floor. Tartarus? Why do they want me to go to Tartarus? What? I don't want to do Brave New World. Wait, what is it? What? Oh, the lower level. Oh. Right, I forgot all about that quest. The utility room. I don't know what the utility room is. Lot of people on that side of things. Well, it has a toxic symbol on it, so maybe there. No. Hello? Why is that not? Okay, God. Uh. Oh, here. Yeah, this is what I want. Oh, it's just right there? Okay. Ah, but of course this door is not working. So how do I get over there? Oh shit. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. You're gonna get killed if you try to attack me. Alright, I'm gonna try to do this stealthy. To do that, I'm gonna make a save. So I can't sneak past them that way. Go in here and close the door. Well, that's a mantisaur. That's not a parasite. Alright, so there's a thing there. Ooh, they're running around crazy. It's hard to predict the motions. Uh-oh. Uh, huh, there's a guy right there, huh? Okay, that's fine. I guess we're really going like the longest way around possible. Okay, so there's two people. Nope. One of them's gonna run away, right? not really an easy way to get around. Oh, there they go. Go, 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 go. Okay, so it's through this room. Imagine making that much of the stuff and it still tastes bad. Duh. Oh, hi the hell. Maybe I should have gone upstairs. Don't tell me you're coming this way. Woo! Turn around and go away. Just turn around. Yeah. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, perfect. A hole in the wall. And through we go. Sedative! Okay, memo, new employee orientation. Okay. File, how to be a janitor. Training file corrupted. Logs. First day. Gas hookup. The experiment participation. Uh oh. Okay, so that should have affected even. Yep, even the worms are out cold. Good. 
Now we can explore this place to our heart's content. Oh, wait. I should have... That, that was pretty good. It rarely goes so well on first try type, you know. Okay, so where did I even come in from? I came in from there. Oh, well, we can take a good look. So, why are they pickling all these different... Ugh. I guess they're not pickling so much. Oh, are they actually dead? I thought it put them to sleep. Maybe it killed the parasites and put the people to sleep. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with that option. Let's see. No, they look kind of dead. Although there's no parasites coming out of them. No, wait, yeah, he does have a parasite. Never mind. She said sedative. She said sedative, and I clicked sedative. Lab notes. Discovery. Slug lab. Finally finished our first set of experiences with those parasites we harvested from the infected would-be attraction animals, and the results have been... What the hell am I doing? Why am I talking, taking this tone? Who's going to see this, aside from the members of the research team? I barely need mention... How beyond completely phenomenal today's find has been. Not only have we discovered why Harold, the system's saddest teacup cane, had, had his remarkable turnaround. Frankly, I'm amazed no one realized there was something was awry earlier. His cage was only about as large as he was. By the way, Myers, there goes your daily adreno injections theory, you buffoon. Okay, so they're just talking about they discovered the parasites from a foreign... Today's incident. I'm sure it's... Just, uh, uh Okay. Gas and test subjects. It would new uh affected by iridium iridanium gigasis. Well we did, it was simply amazing. It was simple enough. Just isolated a particular cell type only found in the parasites and produced an enzyme that should shock them temporarily in stasis. But you better believe the second time it came to tell the second it came to tell the administrator about it, she was the one who developed the gas. And she was the one who'd been primarily working with. Okay. Uh, cadaver removal. Mm hmm. What in the Architect's Blue Blaze is going on? Okay, so she's kind of a fraud. That seems apparent. Oh. There's a whole other room back here. With a workbench. Neat. Wow, I'm almost level 36. And then there's no more leveling again. Anything cool in here? Pur Purpleberry lunch. Ooh, elite trooper helm. Okay, nothing much. Well, at least now we know where all the parasites were coming from. I was right. It's this building. What's this one? Lab notes. Don't drink the coffee. I told Blossom we weren't crazy. Every single one is beginning of clinical insomnia, and she tells us it's because we drink too much coffee. Well, it is because of coffee. Product... Oh. Halcyon Helen. Stop immediately. Oh. Okay, so this is... Okay, just more backlog. Back lore. This terrible, terrible... This place just sucks. But what else is new? That's how it goes in the outer worlds. Everything is terrible. Everyone is terrible. I'll do take this chocolate bar. Ooh, this is a nice little weird kind of lounge. What is this? Why is there like a lounge here? In this corner of the... Oh, there's a piano over here. What? I guess this is the lounge, quote-unquote. Some big old quote-unquotes. <laughs> quote-unquotes around that. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, yeah, what's upstairs? Is this just like a manual? Oh, it's just the... Okay. 
If I didn't want to take the elevator, I guess I could have just walked up the stairs. Or down the stairs. Oh, there's a locked one. Yep. How'd you do that so fast? Did I read this one? I don't think I did. Uh, lab notes. Okay, messages. Resources. Marketing. Stop immediately. Okay, so these are the same. Fancy consoles everywhere. Not much doing. What is this? Tactical Shotgun 3? Don't mind if I do. Oh! How daintily you passed out! Alright, I think that was a pretty good sweep of everything. I checked all this stuff already. Let me check the other sides. There were people walking around in these areas too, weren't there? Yep, there's one now. Ooh, look at all the stuff. Supplies everywhere. Is that stealing? No. For a second I thought it said steal. Bathroom? Big bathrooms. Oh, locker room, not bathrooms. Just pick up everything. Ten percent more packaging. Okay. Bits? Why are there bits under Entering the table? Quiet mode. Okay. And then... Oh yeah, what is this room? With all the toxic symbols everywhere. That's where they were forming dissections. Well, that isn't someone I made pass out. That person was dead on the table already. This one too. Oh, wait, could I have gone up through here and around? Is that what it's implying? Where does this go? More bits, more bits, more bits. What is this? Sulfur soaked top hat. This top hat once belonged to Captain Faison of Byzantium, last seen on Terra and Monarch. Standing much too close to the edge of a sulfur pit. The pungent accessory should serve as a reminder of the many terrible dangers found on Monarch, and a further example of why no self-respecting Halcyon I should ever visit. Can I not take the hat? Why is it here? Okay. Kind of weird. Yeah, why is it here, though? Someone was trying to get to this door. Okay, now let's go up the stairs and be immediately disappointed because I could have circumvented so much stealth and just walked down some stairs. Uh, oh, storage. Seriously, what was the point of that top? Maybe there's a quest later and I gotta come back for it? Oh. We better hurry, Captain. No, I don't think we need to anymore. She's uh she's She's definitely dead. Not much in her office. Surprisingly.
Oh, look at that. The door is mysteriously open and she's mysteriously dead. As are her assistants. Just when we were gonna get some answers. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Confirmation of discrepancy confirmed. This person is most definitely dead. But recently, they were still alive. Examine the body? You sure you heard gunshots earlier that this victim's loss of blood is oddly minimal? The cause of death is not by bullet wound as you expected, rather the body is riddled all over with small thin puncture marks. No larger than a needle in diameter each. Although you distinctly remember hearing gunshots over the intercom, you don't see any bullet casings. Whoever Dr. Blossom confronted over the intercom, they dispatched her and all four of these scientists without much resistance. Means they must be well trained, some kind of sharpshooter or adventurer. Well, they're definitely dead. Any idea what happened? Whoever did this wasn't using a, regu a regular weapon. These look like needle wounds. Caution! Floor slippery when covered in spent hypodermic needles. Oh. Hello? What is that? Uh, open case. Collect all variants of Spectrum Vodka. Okay. Download confirmation. Messages. Okay. Okay. So it's all the same. Files. Parasite findings. Uh, slugs. I produced stunning effects. Uh, brain chemical dependency. The pheromone. Dopamine. Yep, I figured. Okay. Despite our less than ideal presentation, machine. Oh, is that the thing that was in Spectrum Brown Don't at the bottom of the bottle? Just makes us more curious about that data file. Uh huh. Spectrum Gatling. So what other? F uh, you have to. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. Where is. No, oh, there's much more to this lab. Oh, hello. It's not gonna... Oh, whoops. There it is. Okay. This is... <sighs> this is Dr. Blossom. Eridanium Gigasius Slug Research Report 1. Subject, a bunch of slugs. Ugh. These things may well be Rizzo's ticket to the top of the board. But at the end of the day, they still look like my brother would if he ever stopped wearing that damn toupee. Initially found these little bastards suckling on the hairy undersides of a teacup canid. Much like my brother who works for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. The timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Their parasites. The canid didn't seem to mind, but it's almost as stupid as my research staff. Good stuff. Oh, whoops. Got some spectrum on the dissection subject. That's fine. Yeah, I think I see a couple sacks in the worm. Might secrete enzymes or poison or something. We'll figure it out later. Starting to see doubles, so I'm going to switch to working on the Gatling. Almost got the spectrum lock done. Body heat readings indicate that the culprit was just here mere moments earlier in the timeline. Exam the grate. You gauge that this vent probably isn't supposed to be gaping open, but beyond that it's difficult to tell if someone used it to enter the lab or to escape from it. Seems daring either way and fun, if a little scary, like something a character in a serial adventure might do. Fuse box. There's a cut wire in the box, someone wanted the power cut to something, but you're not sure quite what. And now I'm the higher level. More points in sneak. I'm gonna have to redistribute these anyway, so it's fine. Uh, and then I don't even know what I want. 
Anything for the... Within 2.5? Oh, never mind. Uh, no. 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 Ah! Uh, oh, no, but only when you sneak solo. Uh, no. No. Oh, actually, yeah, give me that. Alright, use that. Oh, so I guess we fully explored this place. Oh, Miss Ruth Bellamy, Administrator Ludovico. Okay. Anything else I need to do for this objective? Ah. Uh, pilot house. That's back at the hotel. Oh, it tells you the ones I need. So I need to still find... I need to find... I got red, orange. I need to find green, blue, indigo. Okay. Oh, I need to... Okay, we gotta go back to the nut. I'm not telling the game to move at all. That was just... It was just doing... It's doing the thing again. It's doing the thing again where it's possessed. Stop. Ah! My controls aren't doing that. Oh, it's really problematic. Okay. Let's leave. Let's explore the rest of this part of the asteroid. We'll talk to the... We'll talk to the nut hut lady. Again. And we can get back to the hotel. Actually, maybe we should explore the other areas first, too. I don't know. Either way, that's enough for this episode. So thanks for joining me. Come back. I'll the next stuff up real soon. But until then... Bye.